Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Yup, let's begin by checking into the graphic options. Well, I'm a little surprised. They actually have given the game some PC options. Good on Activision. I've been sort of looking forward to reviewing this game, and to be honest, I've been a little disappointed with Battlefield 3. So why don't we just check out some gameplay here. Now, I never expected much more than account support with this game, but the graphing options were a nice surprise. From what I can tell, this game looks just as good as the other Call of Duties, it pushes no envelopes. The game is trying to be epic, and they're trying way too hard, it's become something that's noticeable. Everything from all the effects that they are trying to ram down outdated micro crap and Plycock 3 to over voiced acted characters. I'm looking for something new, but I, I really can't find it. It's the same fucking thing over and over. Both Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3 lack a seriously good story. At least Battlefield 3 was built from the PC then ported to console. Today I'm reviewing the single player aspect. Now guys, you need to remember that. I know that multiplayer is better than this shit. Compared to Battlefield, this game is even worse when it comes to playing through a scripted game. Run from point B to point A, point A to point B. Very boring and it's getting to be somewhat of an annoyance. This game really don't look that fucking good graphically at all. Everything from low resolution textures to bad particle effects. It feels like a game that came out five years ago. The story in the game is the same old shit we saw time and time before. I'm gotten numb to all this these days. Why does everyone write a game based off the same old shit? Some country is trying to take over the world. I'd like to play a game where the US is the bad guy, or would someone make a game like that? No, wait, wait. Wouldn't it be cool if Canada somehow became a superpower? Yeah! Perhaps aliens landed in Canada and gave us these super weapons, and we all tried to rule the world. Now that's a story that would be somewhat different. Well, Resistance 3, I think that's an alien invasion, Gears of Wars 3 is that or somewhat. Anyways, I don't know what it is. I guess this is what sells these days. Fucking kids buy. They're buying this kind of shit up and then more companies are like, well, let's make a first person shooter. And another one comes down the pipeline and they make some profit. I don't know, perhaps I'm just getting fucking old. feels like every other Call of Duty game. There's no change. It's like playing Modern Warfare, the first one with a different story. Sound, however, don't sound as good as the other ones for some reason. Guns sound fake or something. They did something different this time, and the overacting of the voice actors ain't helping. This game is about as distinctive as a turd floating in a sewer. They all smell just as bad and taste like, well, like shit. played through the game of it, there was this one scene that did stand out. This could be a bit of a spoiler guys, so just so as you know. It's when you're on the plane with the president and shit goes down and you find yourself escorting him to a safety pod or some shit like that. You'll be fighting as the plane is rolling upside down and all the g-force is affecting the action so you'll be slamming against the walls and even in zero g's for a few seconds. I thought that was actually pretty neat, though you could still tell it was scripted and lacked any real physics as everything moved as if it was scripted to. But it was cool. Also, at the end of that scene, when the back half of the plane tore off, it was probably a highlight of this entire game engine. It actually looked decent. The big question, single player better than Battlefield single player? The answer, no it is not. 
Battlefield takes things to a whole new level when it comes to graphics and gameplay, but even Battlefield felt scripted. With gameplay of the two being about the same, it's the polish and engine that makes Battlefield 3 the winner over single player. The vehicles I got to use in Call of Duty felt a little horrible, whereas Battlefield 3's felt more solid. Now, as for Call of Duty's multiplayer versus Battlefield's, they are two different beasts, and I can see why people enjoy each differently. Choose your poison, I say. But when it comes to single player, if that is your deciding factor on which game to get, go up battlefield so this is dtr communicate laters r